Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Be here with the UntitledGameshow.com Back once again with more Borderlands Keys And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk about another subject that's really important to me The next game in the Borderlands franchise I felt like I need to combine all this into one video for you guys ladies and gentlemen today So first thing first is talk about the keys what you guys are going to be getting right now These keys are for five Golden keys. You need to head on over to Sanctuary to use these keys. Once you put in the codes in the shift menu, go to X. Well, sorry about that. You go to extra menus, shift codes, enter these codes in five digits at a time, and you'll be all set for five new golden keys. Remember, guys, these keys, as always, are first come, first serve. If you're having a hard time reading the key, watch the video in 1080p. These videos are always uploaded in 1080p. Now, let's get right into it, guys. Let's talk about the next game in the Borderlands franchise. If you haven't seen the trailer yet and you haven't found out information about this yet, it's called Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. It's been developed by 2K Australia, not Gearbox Software. So that out of the box is a little bit different for the franchise. This is the first Borderlands game that has come to a console that's not been developed by Gearbox specifically. Now I have played every single Borderlands game. I mean, when I mean every game, I've even played the iOS Borderlands Legend game. I even have video of that game on my iOS device. So if I play the iOS version of the Borderlands, I played all the Borderlands. And will I be picking up this Borderlands game? Yes, I'm going to be picking it up. What platform will I be picking it up on? I'm thinking I'm going to be getting it on the PC. Now, the reason for that is I am very disappointed that this game is not coming to the next generation platforms like the PS4 or the Xbox One, which are technically current gen at the moment. So kind of it's like the... 360 and the PS3 versions of this game is the last generation. Now, more people do have the last generation console, so I can see the reasons of wanting to keep putting these games out on the last generation platform, but I just don't see a reason to not put these out on the next generation platform unless they're going to be doing like a game of the year edition of this game in one year from 2014 fall when this game comes out and be like, hey, here's this new game with all the DLC and everything for next gen. Don't know, but I wouldn't hold it past 2K games or you know, 2K Australia as the developers or Gearbox. They love their DLC and they love their Game of the Year editions. And if this game is good enough, it might just get its own Game of the Year edition as well. But let's get right into it, guys. How, what do I think about the gameplay? What do I think about how the game looks? Let's talk about that, guys. First thing first, some of the new mechanics in the game is the gravity system. There's going to be a lot of floating around in this game. You're going to have to have a mask on because you're in open space. Now, the cool thing about being in open space, as you guys can check it out in these screenshots right here, guys... Because of that, when you jump up in the air, sometimes enemies will get frozen. I'm not sure if this is due to a frozen type weapon or because if the enemy's body gets exposed to the cold air in space, they get frozen. But once you're in the air above the enemy, you can press the crouch button and you come and smash right down on top of the enemy's head. Mechanics like that is going to really change up how Borderlands play. You can use your air pack as a jet pack. They showed this off in the pre-alpha footage. Now, I really think all that stuff is really kind of cool. So, I can't wait to see check out stuff like that. Being able to jet pack around Borderlands jetpack talk about like a cool little thing right there I, I never thought about it before this but borderlands combined with jetpacks sounds freaking awesome along with that guys you got a bunch of new classes like you're gonna get clap chat as a class to play with you're gonna be able to play a warham or where helm sorry about that that's the guy from borderlands 2 definitely want to check out what his skills are gonna be able to do but yeah guys it's gonna be a lot of new stuff incorporated into the next borderlands game and of course, when I'm making a video, somebody has to be texting me. See, that's that's how it is, guys. When I'm making a video, somebody has to text me. Mess up the whole video. But it's all right, guys. That's actually Jack from the Untitled Game Show. So shout out to Jack for texting me. <laughs> He's texting me. What's Jack texting me about? He's texting me about Metal Gear. He says, Metal Gear Solid Rising fits into the timeline. Reason for that, guys, I've been playing the heck out of Metal Gear Solid games. I haven't shown any video of that stuff on the channel, but... I've been going back and playing Peace Walker. I've just been following back in my Metal Gear history. But we're here to talk about Borderlands, not Metal Gear. So let me keep on writing on with it. Alright guys, so back to my point. I'm definitely hyped for this new um, Borderlands game. I'm going to be playing it like I play every single other Borderlands game. So look out for footage of this game when it comes out. But I'm still more hyped from Tales of the Borderlands 
That I'm really more interested in finding about what happens with a Telltale made Borderlands game than I am interested in this game because it's not coming for next gen and because Gearbox is not making it themselves I am kind of hesitant because it doesn't seem like Gearbox might be giving this a seal of approval because if they would be giving it a seal of approval 100% it'd be coming to next gen it'd be the biggest talk of the moment they would have been hyping this up this compared to Tales of uh, Borderlands wasn't really that big of an announcement just to me personally but will i be playing it will i be playing it with you guys as subscribers yes i will be playing it with the subscribers so get ready for that there's gonna be golden keys in that i'm sure as well because there's been golden keys in basically every Barcelona games recently all right guys so stay tuned for more borderlands over the next few years because as they put out games i'm gonna keep on playing all right thanks for joining me today guys be here and i'll be back with more borderlands content every single week i'm gonna be continue doing my borderlands prediction videos because i can and those prediction videos are going to be for Borderlands 3 and not for this new Borderlands coming up right now. Alright guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and support the channel by checking out this little video right here. Peace out, guys. Hey, what's up everybody? Be here with the UntileGameshow.com. Here to ask you for your support in a quick ad. Won't take up much of your time. Are you a human being? Do you shop on Amazon? If the answer to these questions are yes, then you could help make the Untile Game Show grow. Any purchases made through the Amazon link on the UntileGameshow.com will help us, like this pre-order of the PlayStation 4. You can click the link, it brings you right to the Amazon website, and you check out just like normal. As you see, just come here, you can bookmark the page, click on our link, bring you right to the Amazon website, search for any products you buy, and that's simple as that, guys. Thanks for watching. Be with the UntileGameshow.com. Hope you guys are willing to support the Untile Game Show and help us grow. That's all I'm asking from you. Buy things you already were going to buy. Thanks for watching.